Hello everyone, I am Cindy from Crocrate Crochet. Today I'm going to teach you how to make Fiona the Riberian. So her height is only 11 cm or 4.2 inches. The yarn I use is 4 ply yarn and the hook size is 3 mm and 1.75 mm crochet hook. So Fiona uh, she can sit down, she can stand because I use the wire to make her bendable. Also, the book is also included in this pattern. To make the best body, you need 4 ply yarn and 3 mm crochet hook. First of all, you should start with the legs. So you make two of them and the first row is to make magic ring 6 sc. After I get 6 SC, I will pull the yarn to close the loop and then you will start the second row. For the second row to the sixth row, continue making 6 SC around. Okay, when you finish, you will get the leg like this. You make another leg and this time is a bit tricky. You need to join both of them by making one chain first and then put the hook into the second leg. After that, you just pull the yarn through two loops. Okay, and after that, you have to start making SC in the other legs first. So start making SC over there. Okay, and then keep making SC on the second leg first. Uh, on the middle chain that we use it to join both legs, you need to make SC on that chain as well. Okay, you make uh, SC on this chain and you keep making the rest of SC on the first leg until you finish. After you finish, Row 7, you're going to have 15 stitches. So if you don't understand, please see the chart on the left hand below. After that, sew the middle of the leg using the leftover yarn. Okay, and we're done. We'll get something like this. After that, continue the part, you know, I use the, the purple yarn to mark that this is the beginning of each row, so it is easier. Uh, we continue to make F row, uh, we're going to make 15 SC along, around. Uh, after you finish this row, you will get uh, 15 stitches. Okay, 
I'm done with the eighth row. And now the next row, row nine, we're going to make three at C and decrease, one decrease on the size of the leg. And after that, we're going to make five at C. Okay, I keep making five at C. All right. I'm done making 5 SC. Then I make decrease. And then 3 SC. After you finish this row, you will get 13 stitches. Okay, I finish. And then for row 10, make 2 SC, decrease. 5 SC, and then decrease, and 3 SC. You will get 11 stitches after you finish this row okay for row 11 and 12 keep making 11 at C this is very simple okay for row 13 you make uh, 3 at C and then increase and then 4 at C and then increase and then 2 at C it's not very tricky either uh, just noted that the increase will be at the size of the leg for row 14 to 15, make 13 stitch SC. Okay? You will get something like this. And after that, you just cut the wire. I use 1 mm wire. I bought it from Walmart. This is very cheap. And you have to uh, bend the wire uh, at the end of the wire. So I recommend you cut the wire for 24 centimeters. And then bend the Y at both ends. Okay. Uh, actually, 24 is the best. Alright. And then after that, you just insert it. Insert it into both legs. You know. Okay. After that, you just fill in the polyester fiber to the leg part and the body part. So you need to use something small to push the polyester inside the leg. You can also use scissors to help you push the polyester down below the leg. Ah, okay, then I start the arm part. For the arm, it is very simple. Just the same as the leg. Make uh, first one, make uh, magic ring 5 SC, you will get 5 stitch. And for the next row, for like row 2 to row 5, okay. For row 2 to row 5, we're going to make 5 SC. Okay, now I finish one arm and then make two arms. Okay. After that, you just sew the arm. You have to sew it. Sew the arm to the size of the body part. And now I'm done with this. Okay. After that, you will need to continue with the Y structure of your arm. So first of all, cut the Y for 13 cm and then bend the Y as follows. Okay, then put the Y into the arm. Uh, I recommend you secure the Y, the arm structure, to the main body part structure. Like this. And then insert it into the arm. After that, to view the top part structure. 
okay for this role is going to be a little bit hard because like uh, you have to work with the Y structure as well so first of all you have to try to uh, eliminate the uh, unwanted leftover yarn as much as possible and you have to start on the body part by making 5 SC actually I have already made 1 SC to uh, continue to extend the yarn right so just make 5 SC on the body part okay after you done 5 SC on the body part just uh, Put the yarn into the arm and then continue another 5 SC on the arms. Okay, after you've done 5 SC on the arm, just continue putting the hook on the body part and make 6 SC on the body part. After you make 6 SC on the body part, just uh, keep doing 5 SC on the other arms. Okay. Then after you make 5 SC on the arm, make 2 SC on the body part and then you you will finish this row. After you finish this row, you're going to have 23 stitches. If you under don't understand very well, see the chart. Okay, for row 17, you're going to make 4 SC 1 2 3 4 After that, you're going to make 3 decreases Okay, that is not thing hard It's not very tricky I believe you guys can do it. Okay, this is the second decrease. And the third decrease. Alright, you guys just follow the code uh, 5SC and then 3 decreases and then 2SC. Uh, after you finish this row, you're going to have 17 stitches. For row 18, you're going to make 8 decreases and then 1 SC. 
after you finish this row you're going to have nine stitches Okay, after that, piece tie to fill in the polyester fiber to the body part and the shoulder part. After that, continue row 19 by making HC and decrease for 3 times around. After you finish this row, you're going to have 6 stitches. The last row would be the neck of the door, so make 6 HC around. Okay, now we finish the body part. Okay, it will look like this. After that, we start the head part. Continue on the head part. First row of the head part, you're going to make six increases. After you finish the first row, you're going to have 12 stitches. For the second row, make SC and then increase for 6 sets around. After you finish this row, you're going to have 18 stitches. For row 3, 4, 5, and 6, just uh, keep making uh, the calls on the screen. So you just Try to increase the rows, the stitch throughout all this row. After you finish it, you're going to have 42 stitches. And then row 7 to 13, keep making 42 stitches. 42, uh, 42 Etsy around, sorry. Okay, now I finish the row 13 and then continue making row 14 by starting to decrease the stitches so the first one would be 5SC decrease for 6 sets around and then for row 15, 16, 17 you're going to decrease the stitch by 6 stitch every row Okay, after you finish the 17 row, you're going to have 18 stitches. After that, fill in the polyester fiber on the head. Then for row 18 to row 20, keep reducing the stitches until they only have 4 stitches left at the end of the Head. So it's done. This is the body part of my jaw. For the eye part, we're going to use the jumper needle and the felting wool mini color. It depends on you which color do you shoot. But the white one and the black one is mandatory. First of all, just measure the center of the face and then you can mark uh, the place you want to put the eye in by using the pencil. 
So the I, we're going to make it around row 7 to row 9. First of all, you have to make the base for the I first. Starting with the lightest color first. For me, I choose the light bow and then just keep pokes, poking the wool to the body part. Okay, just keep poking it at the bottom of the eye first. Secondly, you have to use an, a little darker light bow, you know, and poke it around the middle of the eye. And last one, uh, use the darkest color around the top of the eye. So this one will serve as the black gown for your eye. Okay, okay, try to make the oval shape, you know. After that, you stretch the light, the spin its light for the backyard, uh, for the back uh, wool, and then fill it around the oval shape. This part is a little bit hard, but I believe you can do it. However, if you guys don't like felting or think it's so hard, uh, maybe you can just use the, the embroidery for, by using just the thread, you know, or other material to make the eyes. Okay, now I finished making the oval part already. After that, use the black one again. And then you just try to mold it a little bit and then just uh, poke it in the middle of the eye. After that, use two of the white one to poke it around the top and the bottom of the eyes so this one is the top and the other one is in the bottom okay then use the white one to fill around the oval shape so now i Start off by folding on the left side of the eye first. And then I fill it on the, the right side of the eye. Okay, you will get something like this. After that, you might need to use the black one again and stench it and make it around the oval eye again in order to make the to make the outline clearer for your door so you can cut off the existed part okay and then make the shape like this so now the eye is very pretty uh, also make the eyebrow above the eye as well you can use uh, other color eyebrows if you want to it depends on the egg on the hair color i use a dark brow because i like it and then just make another eyes so you see the eye is pretty after that you make the nose by using the yarn and sew it about three to four times around row seven okay and then it's done and then just hide the yarn on the sides of the head. And uh, then you make the mouth by felt pink wool around row four or row five. It's totally depend on you. After that, apply the brush on on her cheek using the cotton bud, you know, and then just try to spread it. Next section is a hair bed. So you're going to use the black or brown yarn and also 3mm crochet hook and you just start with magic ring 6hc and then just continue according to this code i wrote on the screen and this is the base for the hair after that you just put the base on the head 
of the body part. Uh, this is to make the hair look more volume when you do the hair. It doesn't make the hair look flat, you know. Uh, after that, just sew the hair base to the top of the head. Alright, after that, I am going to use a thread, you know. I cut the thread for 20 cm approximately. And then, I am going to insert the thread on the forehead of the door. Just the front side of the forehead. Uh, because I use a very light thread, so I need 1.75 mm crochet hook to insert the thread around the forehead first okay if you guys don't have the smaller thread you can use just use the normal yarn Okay, now I almost done with the forehead part. Okay, then I'm done with the forehead part. So just do it like this. Okay. Okay, after that you will see the the base, right? The back base. For the back base, you know, you have to insert the hair all around the back base. Both front part, side part and the black part as well. Okay, this is after I insert the front part of the back base, you know. Okay, after that, you are inserting the yarn through the middle of the head, the middle of the hair base. Yeah, you insert the yarn as the hairline on the middle of the hair. Okay guys, I have already made the line of the hair bed, you know, so, but one side is not enough. You have to make another side as well. So, you have to make the hair line for both sides of the hair. Okay, now I'm done, but if you think it is still light and the, the hair is not thick enough, you just need to insert more hair in. However, if you see it is not really pretty on the top of the hair, but we're going to like uh, make the braid, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so don't forget that you need to insert the hair around the hair base or around. Then start making the braid by uh, putting all the hair down like this and then and then you see that 
the girl has the blonde hair on her forehead. So you just need to put the little segment of her front hair up like that. Okay, put the the front hair up across toward the back. You know. Okay, and then try to uh sew just the front hair to the back side. So it attached it like that. Then put the the hair in the back section, and then tie them, tie them both. You know, both ties near the main one, main near the main hair, and then you just tie them with. Elastic blend. Then put the whole side side hair. Put the whole side hair. You know, like this is a part from the center line. The hair that form the center line. You just uh, grab all of them, and then just. Twill it, okay. This this section, just twill it like this, and then you pin it at the back of the hair. Okay, twill it like this, and then you just sew them to edge tap the back side of the head. Then cut the rest of the hair. Also, cut the rest of the hair on the mane. Uh, after that, just do it for another side by grabbing the hair that from the center line toward the back side like this. Then, twill it and pin it to the back side. Twill it. And pin it to the back side. After that, you just need to sew it to attach at the back side of the head again. Okay, I'm done sewing it to attach the back of the hair. And then remove the elastic band. It will have this segment, right? And then you just separate this to the smaller segment in the middle of the head. And then just to wheel them and saw them at the back side of the head. After that, just sew them. Then cut the rest of the yarn. Okay. For the red segment that was left on the head, just use it at the main part to do the braid. We will separate the the front side front segment like to be three segment each size, and then start braiding. It's kind of fast, but uh, when you braid, you try to grab to grab the to grab a segment from right to left, you know, it's uh, it totally depend on you how you want it to be. But this is uh, what I do, and I think it's it's kind of pretty that you just like slowly grab three segments of each side to make the bread. Uh, after you finish making the bread, and then you just keep breading until. The end of this hair. Uh, I also recommend you guys to cut the longer thread because, like, sometimes when you use braid, uh, the hair kind of like spit out. Uh, okay, if it's long enough and you feel that it's still good, you just like tie it with the elastic blend. Okay. 
then cut the end and if you see the spade you can fix it by by doing something like sewing uh, the spade like to close the spade okay cut the end and this is pretty okay she look good all right look good isn't it okay and then we're going to make the bang we're going to make the bang for her so i use just embodier technique to make the bang so first of all just you firstly outline the bang for five of them you know Okay, and this is my five bang. After that, just like embroider the inside of the outline. Okay, now I'm done. Uh, I recommend you make a little bit piercing for the bang. Uh, and she look good at it. Now she look good. Okay, then let's move to the next part, which is the skirt. For the skirt, I will going to make the pleated skirt, you know. So for the first row, you're going to make six chains. And yeah, this is six chain and then you make one chain and then turn and then make it C on the second chain from the hook then make it C again and then make a uh, half double crochet and then make half double crochet and the last two chain would be double crochet Alright, after you're done, for row 2, make 3 chain and then turn and then make DC. So, keep in mind that for this row, you have to make on only the back loop, you know. I am doing on the back loop only. Just keep making DC, DC, HDC, HDC, HC and SC. So, after you finish this row, you're going to have six stitches okay after you've done the second row for the third row you're going to make only one chain and then turn and then make hc hc hdc hdc dc and dc keep in mind that you need to work only in the back row okay so this will turn out as the the pleated skirt that the student wear uh, i really like this kind of skirt you know it looks really beautiful i think okay after that for row 3 to row 21 you just keep repeating on the same code as row 2 and row 3 and the last row which is row 22 you just repeat row 2 
Okay. When you finish, you will get the pleated skirt. Uh, after that, you just uh, put two ends together, and then just uh, just insert the hook into both layer of the skirt. After that, just make slip stitch. You going to continue making slip stitch for about five time. After that, your skirt will be joined to each other. Okay, now I'm done for the skirt is joined to each other and then we're going to make for the waist part by slip stitching, slip stitch the yarn in. So I recommend you uh, start off from the left side of the ring first, uh, from the joint, from the joint, okay, and then make one SC for for each of every two rows so if you see that uh, this is two row and then you're going to make one SC and then the next one is going to be another side of the range and then it's another side of the range okay and you keep making this until you have 11 SC and for the last two SC is going to be near the range and totally for the waist part you're going to have 13 slip stitch okay and then make the last one we are having 13 chain already okay and this is the last one okay so you have 13 stitches okay okay this is 13 stitches okay after that for row 2 you are going to make a SC, INC, and then 5 SC, and then INC. Oh, sorry. It's going to be 6 SC, and then increase, and then 5 SC, and then increase. So after you finish this row, you're going to have 15 stitches. For row 3 to row 6, keep making 15 stitches. And this one, after I have done row 6, so just uh, make the strap, the strap for the for the dress. So you going to make six chain one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you make six chain and then you just keep it across the shoulder, and after that you just count, you just count the stitch uh, from the. The, the strap for like three stitch and then you make another slip stitch to join the strap together after that you make six etsy on the strap just like what i am doing right now so now this is your strap for the dress uh, after that you just slip stitch the yarn in to make the second strap for up the other side so you slip stitch the yarn in and you do the same way by making six chain and then slip stitch on another side. Actually if I count it's going to be three stitch from the strap and then just make slip stitch at the base of another size. After that make six chain on the strap.
Okay, now I'm done with the dress. All right, then the sleeves. The sleeve is a little bit hard, you know, because it's so hard to find the stitch. What I'm doing is that I slip stitch the white yarn in and then make nine SC around the around the armhole. Okay, and for row 2 to row 5, keep making 9 SC until you have done. After you're done, just fasten off. So this is the sweep, you know. Okay, you do it for another side as well. After that, we are going to do the neckline. For the neckline, you just uh, slip stitch the white yarn in as well. I recommend you, if it's possible, please do the SC uh, in the inside group only in order that you can uh, hide the the yarn very easily so you go, are going to make 23 sc around the neckline Okay, after you've done the neckline, just wear the desk to the door. It might be a little bit hard, but uh, I hope you can find a technique to put it in. After that, make the collar. For the collar, there are two pieces of collar. Uh, both pieces have different coats because I just want to show the right side out. So for the first piece, you're going to make five chain and one one chain and then make two slip stitch one slip stitch and then two slip stitch after that make SC and then make uh, HDC and then make DC so now we're done with the first color After you finish the color, just make two chain and then just slip stitch at the base. After that, fasten off. And then you make another side using this, the code I wrote on the screen. After that, you just uh, attach, attach the color like this and sew it on the neckline. So I would give you a little technique to make the color look kind of piercing out so just sew the collar and make the and embroider the white line like underneath the collar so you can make a better shape of your collar now i'm done with the collars after that, just uh, make the ribbon by using the navy color yarn, split one fourth of the original yarn and use 1.75 mm hook to make chain for 8 cm. After that, just fold the ribbon. Fold the ribbon. Okay. After that, you just uh, use the Use a needle to sew in the middle of the ribbon and then attach it to the collar like this. Okay, for the hair ribbon, use the light, the light blue color to make five chain. Okay, this one you have to use the 3mm crochet hook as always. Uh, and then make two chain and then turn and then make HDC on the third chain from the hook and then make HC and then slip stitch and then make another HC 
and then HDC. Okay, so this is the first row, and then for the second row, make two chain and then turn, make HDC. Okay, HDC, and then HC. Oh, it's kind of hard because you have to work in the in the second row. So this is HC, and then make slip stitch. And then make HC, and then make uh, HDC. Okay, this will form as the ribbon. Okay, then make two chain and then slip stitch at the base. Okay, I'm done with this. Okay, after that you just sew the middle. Sew the middle. Like this. Okay, now we finish the ribbon. Okay, and after that, make the chain as long as you want. Actually, it should fit the the hair blend, you know. So, and after you make the chain, just make slip stitch along the line. Okay, after that, you just uh sew it to the elastic blend on her hair. Then you sew the ribbon. You attach the ribbon at the back side of the blend. Okay, for the shoe, use the black yarn or the brown yarn, whatever. And then, first of all, start with start with uh, magic ring, egg at C. And for the second row, you make egg at C. Then, after you finish, you will have egg stitches. Okay. For the sock, you have to use the smaller white yarn, approximately one, one half of the original yarn, and then you still use 3mm hook. Uh, you start making egg SC using only back row. And after that, for row 4 to 5, you keep making egg SC. Okay, this is the shoe. And then when you wear the shoe, it might be a little bit hard, but keep slowly twirling the shoe in. Okay, for the eyeglasses, you need some more. Like I use a lipstick that because it is, it is so cool. It is a calendar shape. And after that, you just form the circle using the mold like this. Okay. And this will serve as the glide, the eyeglass. Just cut it off. And you will see, okay, you can make it as circle as much as possible, and then it will look like this. Okay. And then just put it between the eye, just peer inside the crochet door. So now it's attached. Okay, you can uh, try to make the shape. Okay, for the books, make 18 chain first. Okay. And after that, make 3 chain and then turn and then make 18 DC along the line. For the second row, you do the same thing. All right. For the for the paper, you cut a uh, five 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 centimeter times seven centimeter, and then you cut the pen paper as follow. Okay, cut like this. Actually, uh, I saw the tutorial for the book from another website. I will put the link in the description box if you want to see how to make the book more clearly okay okay this is the book okay all right it will be like this okay okay and then you just put the book cover and then you cover the first two uh, the first and the last page cover something like this and then you sew the top and the bottom of cover 
to attach each other. Okay, now I'm almost done. Just solder the plain paper to the cover. Just sew it using the really light white thread to secure it at the cover of the books. And also, I recommend you to sew the middle of the book as well in order that it won't fall. So this is my notebook. It is really adorable. And thank you, you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like my video. And see you in the next pattern.